Here we go. Round three. Rush for the Grammys and the Grammys won. Rush for the Grammys and the Grammys won. Okay, so in 1995, Rush was nominated for their 1993 instrumental Leave That Thing Alone, which was off of the Counterparts, Counterparts record. And that same year, Pink Floyd was nominated for their uh, instrumental called Marooned, which was on their The Division Bell release of 1994. And coincidentally, this was the only Grammy that Pink Floyd ever won. So <laughs> go figure. Uh, you know, Grammys have like a wonderful streak of selecting the best for their winners. Yeah, so Pink Floyd only won once, and it was this time, and one of the casualties was Rush. <laughs> but they're instrumental. Leave that thing alone. I don't know if I've heard this song before. Just like the previous entry, I didn't know I heard it until I actually heard it. But Marooned, I, I know nothing about it. Maybe some of you have heard it, maybe not, but it'll be... I'm going to consider it a first for me. So let's get right into it. Let's listen to Marooned by Pink Floyd and see if that song deserved the Grammy over Rush's Leave That Thing Alone. I do have to say that Leave That Thing Alone is not my favorite instrumental from Rush. I actually like Where's My Thing better than Leave That Thing Alone. And I think the reason Rush dropped Where's My Thing is because right in the next record they had this new instrumental, Leave That Thing Alone, and they just carried it on for a few more tours until they brought Where's My Thing back in the Clockwork Angels tour. But um, we'll see how it fares against Marooned by Pink Floyd. And I will have to say, Pink Floyd, I believe, is a much known, much more known band than Rush. So if we're talking about just popularity, I think Pink Floyd will win that one. But we'll see if the song holds up. We'll see if Marooned holds up against Leave That Thing Alone to see if they actually deserve to win that Grammy. So let's give it a whirl. Alrighty. So here we go. We're going to listen to uh, Marooned. <laughs> by Pink Floyd off of their 1994 release, The Division Bell. Here we go. Okay, so that was Pink Floyd's Marooned. You know, Pink Floyd was around before Rush was, so maybe one reason that Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd won that year is because it was about time they won a Grammy, perhaps. I guess it depends what you're looking for or what the criteria is for these nominations. Um, so, okay, so if you think of Leave That Thing Alone, you know, it has a, you know, a pretty groovy beat and it's like, you know, kind of like gangsterish. And there's a, there's not exactly a guitar solo in it, but there are some soaring notes that Alex plays that contributes to the atmosphere of the song. Um, I'm being distracted by my dog, so if I'm looking away, it's her fault. Hey, get, get away from the stand. So, Leave That Thing Alone is a more giddy-up type instrumental, and I'll have links to both songs uh, in the description below so you can compare. Whereas Marooned is a very... Yeah, yeah, I know, right? My, my dog agrees. <laughs> it's a very airy, dreamy, moody, Pig Floyd type song. <laughs> I'm telling you, my, my dog, she agrees completely. All right, I couldn't convince her to stay on the floor, so I had to I had to pick her up. So yeah, so what I was saying about Pink Floyd, they're just so, a lot of their songs, to me, are very same-ish. Um, there's no question that they're ex incredibly talented. The members of the band, particularly David Gilmore, sticks out for his incredible soloing. But their songs are not typically not fast. They're more slow, like like this one was. So... These are really two completely different, completely different songs. Um, Leave That Thing Alone is kind of, you know, it's a fast paced, really steady drum beat. And they, they have their little, their moments uh, in the song. All three of the members do. And in live versions of Leave That Thing Alone, Geddy Lee is just going off on the bass. So there's a lot of musicianship going on there. Whereas Marooned, it's more, it's kind of like a mood. It's an atmosphere. And I think a lot of people take a passage to Bangkok to enjoy the music of Pink Floyd, if you know what I mean. In any case, I mean, I liked it. I like Marooned. And, you know, as a Rush fan, I'm trying to be as objective as possible as far as which one I like more. I mean, they're just completely different songs. And, you know, that's a good thing to have, too, in a category of best anything is variety. And, you know, the category is best rock instrumental. I mean, Pink Floyd is... 
basically a, a rock band, progressive rock. So I can see this song being in that category. It's not as hard rocking as Leave That Thing Alone, but it's a good song. Do I think it should have beat Leave That Thing Alone? I don't know. I think I'm a little, I'm a little um, indecisive as to if actually this song deserved to beat Leave, beat Leave, Leave, if this song deserved to beat Leave That Thing Alone for the Grammy. I think that in that year, because these two these two songs were were there, I think Pink Floyd because of their popularity, I would think that they won over Rush for this category. So I'm not gonna complain too much that Pink Floyd won that year because it's Pink Floyd. They're huge. And they were also an influence on Rush in the early years, especially on Getty and Alex. And then when Neil came in, you know, I think he was influenced by them as well. So I don't think even the bands of Rush, if they ever cared about winning a Grammy or not, would not mind losing to Pink Floyd one of their influences. So do I think the Grammys got it right in 1995 to select Pink Floyd's Marooned over Rush's Leave That Thing Alone? I'm not going to say they got it right, but I don't think they got it wrong. Anyway, that's my reaction to Marooned and to Rush versus the Grammys in this round. I'm going to call it pretty much a draw because it really depends on what you like and in this case, who was most popular and I think Pink Floyd had the edge. This is Omar of All About Rush and Lumi, and we'll see you in the next video. Good job, Lumi. Okay.